today I will show you how to make this crazy camcorder effect. Yo, it's Povikas here, and real quick guys, I just want to announce that I've just released my glitch presets pack. It is absolutely a long-awaited pack because I've been working on it for over three months now, pretty much the whole summer, and yeah, I just released it. It has over 25 of the craziest glitch effects I could have ever made, so I would 100% recommend to go and check it out if you have the Sapphire and Signal plugins, and the pack will be linked in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from his Ghost Killer music video, and here what we can do is press ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer and we can call it maybe camcorder uh, it does you don't need to do that i just call it like that and here we can start adding effects so an optional effect we can add here is sjpeg damage which requires the sapphire plugin i like to add it just to damage the look a bit more but like, i'm going to actually make the quality a bit higher to like 0.25 but i'll make the rest factor to 2 which will actually damage it a bit more and the rest rel x factor also 1.94 maybe a bit like that so as you can see it definitely does damage the look and now we can and add the effect called transform and why i like to add this effect is i like to go to uniform scale and i like to make the scale width to either 75 which will look like this or 80. now 75 might be a bit more realistic for a camcorder look because look like they're usually like a bit more squished well we can keep it to 80 if we want or 75 it doesn't really matter i'm gonna keep it to 80 but you can do 75 as well and now let's add a free plugin which i think everyone should have it's called ntct rs which is pretty much like the camcorder effect almost and just look at the look you instantly get so you you can keep it like this and it will be like a color for a camcorder but here we can also just change the settings right now so i like to change it to zero here which will actually delete the color so if you don't like that you can keep it but you know and what i like to do is i like to go to lumos mirror and i like to make it to zero which will make the sharpen pop out like way more like a camcorder and i like to turn off the head switching and also the tracking noise and i also like to make the intensity to zero on the chroma noise and i like to go to sharpen i like to make the frequency like 3.93 and here i would also like to recommend to you that you can switch the chroma phase error a bit like differently to get like a cooler color if you want or play around with the noise settings here as well that will give a pretty cool look and the last thing i like to do with this effect is i like to go to horizontal scale and make it to 2.2 to make it pop out a bit more like that and here we can add an effect called hue saturation which we will use to desaturate so i like to make the master saturation to minus 66. So now you can see it's way more desaturated and you can already call that like a camcorder effect but we have to keep going I think. So below it I also like that sharpen and I like to make this incredibly high to like 189. Let's just make it like really really high. Now just be careful with this effect. And another effect like that here is us warp waves which is actually an optional effect and it requires the sapphire plugin. So if you don't have it don't worry. And here I like to make the angle to 90 and the frequency is very important to make it to 180 and the amplitude to 0.001 it does add a bit of an effect i will show you what it does later on and now let's add a mosaic which we will use to damage the look even more and let's make both of these to 300 so i have that 300 and this 300 and now let's add fast box blur which we will use to damage the look even more and i like to make the blur radius to 3 but now as you can see it's a bit too blurry so we need to add unsharp mask to make it less blurry and i like to make the amount to 150 and the radius to for. and now we can add exposure because as we can see we've lost a couple of exposure oh that sounded so stupid i don't know how i say it like that anyways let's make it to one here and let's just see how this looks real quick yeah that already looks like a camcorder effect wait i want to try something here wait, i want to add a camcorder tape glitch on top of this because i want to see how this would actually turn out to look so let's press ctrl y let's press ctrl shift e and let's quickly go to animation presets user presets and glitch presets which is will be linked in the description it's my newest pack and let's go to glitch presets 24 fps but you can choose whatever fps you have in the other options as you can see here and let's add the camcorder tape glitch i want to see how this will actually look right now oh yeah that is actually insane wait okay yeah that is a crazy glitch for this okay so that that definitely works we can press u to see the ending yeah we can cut here by pressing ctrl shift d yeah, so you can add this as a little transition, and with this effect, it looks like a crazy combination. Wait, just actually look at that. And let's go back to the camcorder layer. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Now let's go back. I just want to see how that will look, but that looks absolutely insane. Anyways, here we can add S Flicker, which also requires a Sapphire plugin, but you really don't need this effect. I just like it because it looks cool. And I'm going to make the amplitude to 0 0.15. And lastly, we can add S Warp Waves. 
And here we need to make the exact same settings here to 90, frequency to like 180, and the amplitude to 0. 0.001 and now look what it did here now look closely look at these little lines now look what happens if i turn it off they disappear camcorder looks usually have these lines which pretty much we just made it look a bit more realistic for a camcorder look and if you add a camcorder glitch that will look even more realistic and here we can also add a motion tile if we want to and we can make it to like something like 75 on the wood but the kind of removes this little line so yeah maybe we can actually make the motion tile maybe like 78 to keep that little line yeah let's keep that little line actually i like that line yeah and this will look really really cool like an actual camcorder effect just actually crazy also let's try adding more glitches i want to see how this will look so we can press ctrl y here and here for example we can add maybe glitch 10 will look really cool i think on this oh yeah yeah that looks crazy and, we and let's look how this looks because i want to see how this looks as a glitch okay well let's see whoa okay yeah that is absolutely insane just look how crazy that is okay yeah yeah let's have it like that and to get out of this last clip because we have like a last clip i like to use an effect called glitch 8 so we can press ctrl shift d it's a really good transition effect and we can add glitch 8 and we can press u to see where it ends oh it ends here so we can press ctrl shift d and delete yeah this will be a crazy like ending let's just see how this looks so yeah that just looks actually insane for an ending glitch and it's also really important for me to tell you that for the glitch presets pack you do need the sapphire plugin which we were just using and it's also kind of optional but you also need this plugin called signal which adds like pretty much those colorful looks so yeah i would definitely recommend to have also signal for that as well but if you have sapphire and signal plugins then i 100 percent would recommend to go and check it out and if you want you can also use the code glitch 5 at the checkout to get yourself a five dollar discount code for the glitch presets pack but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya